Ja, goede juni. Goede juni. Good afternoon. Good morning for everyone. It's my great uh, honor to introduce Professor Min Sin Yin. Uh, you may see that uh, Min Sin has changed his uh, affiliation to Institute of Software, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and the Tsinghua University because Min Sin just moved back from Australia to China. Now he takes two positions. Professor uh, at uh, our institute. Actually, he uh, is the uh, academic research director of our institute. So Min Sen is my boss now. He also holds a uh, part-time distinguished professor at the Department of Tsinghua, uh, Department of Computer Science, Tsinghua University, named Chuang Jiang Professor. Uh, before that, uh, Min Sen uh, holds a uh, Distinguished professor at the University of Technology, Sydney. Uh, there, he uh, led a, a, t, uh, 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 a research center for quantum computation. Um, actually, Min Sen's uh, uh, research interest cover to uh, quantum computation. Um, um, uh, formal master uh, programming theories and uh, uh, artificial logics. Actually, Min Sen uh, takes very uh, leadership in the quantum um, programming theories. Um, he has published uh, more than 100 uh, papers in, in the leading international journals and the conference. Um, particularly, he published uh, two papers related to uh, quantum computation. One is uh, uh, by Cambridge uh, Price uh, on the uh, quantum uh, uh, model checking quantum system principles and algorithm. The other one is uh, uh, called the Foundation of Quantum Programming uh, by uh, Morgan Kaufman. So now, Min Sen also serves as the editor-in-chief of ACM Transaction on Quantum Computing. So today, Min Sen will give us a talk on model checking for verification of quantum circuits. So let's welcome Min Sen, please. Thank you, Min Sen. OK, so uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Nai Jin uh, for the uh, very nice and very kind uh, introduction. And also, uh, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, programming committee uh, for inviting me uh, to give a talk at this uh, a wonderful conference. As uh, Nigel said, uh, I will talk about uh, the more checking uh, for verification of content circuit. So this is the outline of uh, my uh, talk. A very brief introduction. I guess uh, the majority of this uh, community uh, uh, may not be uh, very familiar with uh, uh, you know, the uh, quantum computing. And then uh, I, I, I will spend uh, some time uh, to uh, uh, talk about the base case of a quantum uh, uh, logic circuit and also uh, how we can use the uh, tensor network for representing a quantum uh, circuit. After that, I will uh, discuss uh, uh, one of the you know, may, most fundamental issues in the uh, model checking, I mean, the legibility analysis of, of the uh, quantum circuit. If uh, I have uh, enough time, and then I will briefly uh, discuss uh, uh, more complicated uh, you know, the, uh, properties, how we can uh, model check more uh, complicated properties uh, uh, specified uh, by uh, a kind of, of uh, you know the quantum extension of the of the tens, uh, temporal logic. So uh, I, I guess uh, all you know, uh, you know, uh, recent in the, in the last few years, uh, the size of uh, quantum uh, computing hardware has been uh, rapidly uh, growing. In particular, just uh, a couple of days ago, uh, IBM uh, announced their uh, 127 uh, qubit uh, chips. 
So the QDA, I mean the design automation for quantum computing uh, is uh, imagined as a very, very important uh, problems. In, in particular, uh, the verification of a quantum circuit will be a, you know, a, a very important research, you know, the topic. At this moment, uh, so in, in the verification of quantum uh, circuit, the research mainly focus on the equivalent checking of a combination of a quantum circuit. But recently, uh, our sequential uh, circuit model started to play uh, some important roles in the quantum computing and the quantum uh, information processing. Uh, let me let me uh, mention some examples. Uh, for example, I mean the, the quantum memories, uh, quantum uh, feedback and networks, and the repeat until success uh, quantum uh, circuit, which is uh, a kind of uh, you know the the. Uh, implementations of a uh, uh, complicated quantum gate using uh, some basic uh, quantum gates. And even uh, uh, a hardware description language was defined by a group at the uh, Stanford, uh, uh, the department of, uh, the, the, the physical department of uh, Stanford University uh, for the sequential uh, quantum uh, photonic circuits. So now the question is uh, how we can uh, uh, do the verification of uh, sequential or quantum circuit. I guess that, uh, you know, this uh, in the community, we immediately say, how about we do uh, the model checking? Actually, a uh, model checking a quantum system uh, has uh, been uh, researched for more than 15 years. Uh, early work in this area, uh, its target uh, verification of uh, quantum uh, communication uh, protocols. But more recently, uh, people also interested in uh, checking a uh, quantum uh, Markov uh, chain because uh, this has uh, uh, applications in the analysis and the verification of uh, quantum programs. So now question become, uh, can we uh, use this uh, uh, model checking techniques in the, ver uh, in the verification of a, a quantum circuit, I mean a sequential quantum circuit. Or in other words, can we do uh, the ABV, I mean the session-based uh, verification of a quantum circuit? So that's the, that's the topic uh, we, we are going to uh, discuss in this uh, talk. But let's uh, start from the, uh, you know, the, the base case of a quantum uh, circuit. So, uh, first of all, the quantum counterpart of a bit is called uh, the quantum bit or qubit. A state of a single qubit can be represented by a you know, two-dimensional uh, unit uh, uh, caramel vectors, alpha and beta, also, we can use this uh, very popular uh, notation in physics, uh, called the Dirac, Dirac, Dirac uh, notation. So, psi equals half uh, cat zero plus uh, beta cat one. So, here cat zero is uh, uh, written as, as a, this uh, two dimensional, you know, the vector is uh, one zero and the cat one is a zero one. And the intuition behind this, uh, you know, the lack uh, notation is that the psi, I mean, the state psi, uh, or, or, we, or we can uh, put things in this way, uh, the qubit is in the superposition of uh, zero and the one. So, so this is a single qubit. Then what happens uh, for more than uh, one qubit? Like we have uh, n qubit, Q1, Q2 to Qn. And then the state of uh, this uh, system consisting of uh, n qubit is a, can, can be, a, you know, mathematically, it can be a, a moderated as a two to n dimensional vectors. So alpha one, uh, uh, alpha zero, alpha one, 
to alpha uh, two to n minus one. So I here I am using this uh, t uh, for for the change pose because uh, uh, this is a low uh, low uh, vectors, but actually uh, we we use the Kalman vector, so we need this uh, you know the change pose. So so this is the uh, you know two to n dimensional uh, uh, vectors of uh, complex uh, numbers, and also we can uh, uh, use this uh, uh, Dirac notation uh, to write up the Poisson as this, uh, you know, the, the, the summation. So here, uh, x1 to xn uh, it, it are all, uh, each of them are either zero or one, and uh, alpha x1 x to xn is, is a complex numbers. Uh, of course, here, uh, you know, we, we, we require the normal of, of this uh, Poisson is a is a one, so this is a you know the the a state of uh, n qubit. So in in this in this slide, uh, you, you know we already know how we can uh, uh, model a, a state of a uh, uh, qubit, and then uh, how can we do uh, the computation on on the qubit? So then we need the this is so-called the quantum gate. So it's a, it's a quantum, uh, you know, the counterpart of uh, the logic gate in the, in the classical world computing. Again, uh, let's uh, start from uh, a gate on a single qubit. So a gate on a single qubit can be moderated as a two to a, a two times two a unit uh, complex uh, matrix U. More, in general, a gate on uh, n qubits, then it can be uh, uh, moderated as a uh, two to n times a uh, two to n unitary matrix. So, so it can be uh, written as a uh, u in, in this way. Here, by the uh, term uh, unitary, uh, we mean uh, uh, the, 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 the matrix uh, set fire uh, this uh, condition, u digo times u equals i, i is the identity uh, matrix. So u digo is the, uh, you know, change port and the conjugate of, uh, of, of u. So, <clears throat> so in a sense that uh, u digo is the, is the in, uh, inverse of, of u. So <clears throat> now, uh, uh, if we have an uh, input of a sign to this uh, to this gate, and then the output uh, can be a, uh, I mean again uh, mathematically uh, moderated as a uh, Poisson uh, prime, which is uh, u uh, times uh, uh, Poisson. Of course, you know the in the physical implementation. Uh, in the physical, so you know that we, we have a kind of uh, implementation of uh, it, it, it there, but in the mathematics, uh, uh, u uh, times u per, per sign is it, just in you know, the standard, the matrix uh, multiplications. So now we have, uh, you know, the uh, quantum states and the quantum gates, and then uh, uh, we can define the uh, Uh, before before we define you know the uh, quantum second, let's uh, introduce an uh, you know notation. So suppose we have uh, a quantum gate U, and then we have a sequence of uh, uh, qubits Q1 to Qn. Then uh, we will uh, uh, write U Q1 to Qn uh, for for this uh, gate U acting on the qubits Q1 uh, to Qn. So. Uh, Right, so this is a mathematical, you know, the definition of a quantum gates, and then uh, uh, we can uh, uh, see some uh, very simple example. Uh, one of the most popular uh, quantum gates in the in quantum computing is so called uh, the Hadamard gate, which is the uh, two times two uh, matrix. So so it's a uh, you know the gate uh, on a single qubit. So this. Uh, 
gate edge uh, uh, can be uh, modeled as, as, as this, uh, you know, the uh, matrix. Now, if we have uh, input, which is a uh, cat zero to, uh, to, the, to the gate edge, and then uh, uh, the output will be uh, this uh, state we call the uh, cat class. It is the equal superposition of uh, cat zero uh, and, and, and cat one. So in a sense, uh, this uh, Hadamard gate create a superposition. Of course, there are many, many other, you know, the uh, two uh, single qubit gates, like the Pauli gate X. X actually, uh, you know, the, uh, in a sense, it's, it's a corresponding to the, to the uh, not gate in the, in the classical computing. And also we have this uh, Y uh, and, and the Zeta uh, for the, I, I guess I don't have an, uh, enough time to, uh, you know, the give an, uh, to, to talk about the, the uh, Fresco's interpretation of this uh, uh, polygate. So anyway, uh, this polygate, uh, a single qubit gate, then uh, another very important uh, gate in quantum computing is called the uh, C naught or controlled knot or control X. So this gate is uh, uh, two to uh, uh, four, four times uh, four matrix. So uh, it is uh, a gate on a two qubits. So mathematically, um, this uh, a gate can moderate as this uh, matrix. Here, I is the uh, two dimensional uh, identity matrix and the X here is the polygate giving it in this way. The interesting thing for, for this uh, C naught is, uh, is that if we have uh, input, uh, input state, the first, the first qubit is in the uh, cat, cat plus, and the second qubit in the, is, is in the cat zero. So, so these two qubits, are in the separable state. But if after you input this uh, a state to the C naught, and then you will get this uh, state, which is an equal uh, uh, superposition of uh, cat zero zero plus a uh, cat uh, one one. Uh, people often call this uh, the, and the EPR pale are uh, named after uh, Einstein or uh, Podolsky and the uh, Lawson, uh, three uh, physicists who were in first introduced this uh, gate. So this gate is an entanglement, meaning this gate cannot be uh, separated as a two uh, single qubit gate, a single qubit state. One for uh, one for the second uh, first qubit, one for the second qubit. You you cannot uh, you know simply uh, separate them, so that they're, they're entangled. So you see that a C node can uh, create the entanglement. Okay, so so this the uh, quantum gates, and then uh, as in the classical case, uh, we can define the combinational quantum circuit as a sequence of. Uh, quantum gates. So suppose we have a uh, uh, quantum gates, G1, G2 to Gn, and then uh, we put uh, them in a sequence, and then uh, we get a quantum uh, circuit. Let's uh, look at this uh, simple example. So, so in this uh, uh, example, we have uh, two qubits, uh, G, uh, Q1 and, uh, and Q2, and we have uh, five uh, uh, gates. The first, the first gate is, is zeta, the second edge. But this one is, this, is a gate, is a single gate, not two gate. So it's a, it's a gate on uh, two qubits. So this uh, gate is, is a C naught. And uh, the last the two is a Y and uh, uh, poly, uh, poly gate Y and the Hadamard gate edge. So put them uh, together, we, we, have, we have a quantum uh, circuit. <clears throat> OK.
okay, so so this is the you know the uh, mathematical models of quantum uh, circuit, but in this uh, in, in this definition, all the gate are moderated as uh, uh, unitary operators. This means that uh, uh, this gate has a no, no, there is a no noisy in this uh, in this quantum circuit. But uh, at this moment, we always uh, say uh, we are we are in the so called NISQ uh, arrows. NISQ is a term uh, coined by uh, uh, John Plasky, a professor at the Caltech. NISQ means a uh, noisy uh, intermediate scale quantum. Intermediate means that uh, we have a circuit along the you know well, from uh, like uh, you know the. Uh, 50 qubits to 100 qubits, but the, but the, one, the, 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 the upper bound of 100 already uh, broken by IBM. So they got uh, you know, 127 uh, qubits as chips. Then the question is uh, how we can uh, uh, model the noisy in this uh, quantum circuit. To do that, we first needed to uh, introduce the so-called mixed state. So a mixed state of a qubit system is an ensemble uh, psi i, uh, pi. So intuitively, uh, this means that the n qubit system, the system is in the pure state, pure state of psi i. So we know we know uh, how to how to uh, you know describe this uh, psi i. Uh, from the previous, uh, you know, the slice. In the, psi, in, in the pure state psi i with a probability uh, pi. So in a sense, uh, the, the system can be uh, in uh, like a psi one with a probability uh, 0 0.5, uh, psi two uh, with a probability uh, 0 0.3 and, and so on. Mathematically, uh, uh, we can uh, use a so-called the density operator uh, to uh, to uh, to model this uh, pure state. So density operator or density matrix uh, is a, is a mathematical tool uh, invented by uh, from Newman. So so from this ensemble uh, psi i p i, we can uh, uh, construct this uh, uh, density matrix. Uh, simply, we, we take this uh, summation of, of a pi, cat, cat psi i. Uh, we remember cat psi i is a quorum uh, uh, vectors. And then the uh, bra psi i is the, uh, is the adjoint of a cat psi i. I mean, uh, the, the, the conjugate and the transport of a cat psi i. So it must be a Low uh, vectors. So a current vector times a low vector, then you get the, you know the square matrix, and then uh, we we uh, times uh, it with with uh, this uh, multiply it with uh, with uh, this uh, probability, and then uh, take the summation of them. So we we get this uh, density matrix. <laughs> so 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 this one is uh, is uh, you know the uh, mixed state, and then. Uh, uh, a noisy gate can be moderated as a super operator, uh, which means that a mapping from operator to operator, or we, we say a, a mapping from a density matrix to a to density matrix. It is required to be a linear, or of course, a, a not every linear map uh, defined in this way can be a uh, can be implemented, uh, can, uh, can be used to describe a noisy gate. Uh, actually, we, we need to uh, add some other, you know, the conditions. But here, I guess I should uh, skip off, uh, uh, skip from there. So, so this, uh, this, uh, you know, the uh, abstract definition of a super operator, uh, usually very hard to. Uh, uh, use in the uh, practical applications. But fortunately, uh, we have this uh, so-called uh, 
uh, closer operator some uh, representation for, for the for the super operator U uh, E. So for any super operator E, there is a family of uh, operators, a family of uh, matrices E I such that E acting on a law equals uh, uh, sigma E I law E I diagonal. So E I diagonal is the uh, conjugated transport of uh, of uh, E I. Okay, so so we now we know know uh, how to uh, describe a uh, 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 quantum state, a uh, pure state, mixed state, and also we know uh, uh, how to uh, a model quantum gates, uh, noiseless quantum gates can be a, a model as a, as a unitary operators, and noisy gate can be a, a model as a you know super operators. But at the end of of the of a circuit, how we can uh, read out the computational outcomes. So in a sense, we needed to uh, extract the classical information from uh, uh, quantum states, how we can do it. Uh, one of the basic uh, postulate of uh, quantum mechanics is to say uh, we needed to do so-called quantum measurement. So quantum measurement are used to, uh, for readout of outcomes at the end of a uh, quantum circuit. Mathematically, a quantum magic, uh, quantum uh, quantum measurement on a n qubit can be described by a family of uh, matrices, M M. Here we uh, the the this matrices uh, must satisfy this uh, normalization condition. The the reason behind this normalization condition is actually that you know that the the, the summation of the, you know, the different respective uh, 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 probabilities must be one, right? So, uh, if we know the quantum system is in state, in in a pure state, cat per sign, and then we perform the measurement m on this uh, state, and then uh, uh, it, it's possible. Uh, Every time that you match it, you get different, you know, the, the outcomes. So this is a fundamentally different from uh, the, the classical world. In the classical world, every time that you uh, match uh, an object and then you get the, like you, you match the, uh, the length of the table, you always get the same value. But in the quantum case, uh, this is uh, uh, different. So, so, then you 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 get you you get the outcome m with the certain probability p m so p m is computed in this way uh, you you may remember m m m is a, is a matrix is a matrix and then it times a, uh, times a cat sign which is a, you know the the column uh, vectors and then you get uh, another column vector and then you take uh, you take the modular and take a square, and then you get this uh, probability. Another difference here is, is that when, uh, I mean, another difference here uh, between the uh, classical system and the quantum system is that when you do a, a measurement on a classical uh, object, after the measurement, the state is uh, not changing, but, uh, but the, for the quantum, uh, uh, you know the system, the state will be uh, changed to this uh, new state because of the you know disturbing uh, of the measurement. So this is the uh, you know measurement on a pure state. Then what happens uh, for measurement on a mixed state? For mixed state uh, again. Uh, you know, the outcome M is obtained with the certain probability, but this time uh, this probability PM is computed in this way. So MM diagonal, MM law, 
that that you know that the three uh, we we multiply uh, this three uh, matches uh, together, and then we 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 take the trace trace uh, uh, you know from the linear algebra you now the trace of a matches is that it the sum is the summation of the edges on the main uh, diagonal right of the matrix. Again, the state will be changed. Now this time uh, it changed uh, in, in this way. It, it changed from law to, uh, to mm law, mm diagonal divided by the probability of pm. So, so, so this is the uh, measurement. And then uh, with uh, this measurement, uh, so here we, we say that uh, measurement uh, can be used uh, 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 mainly used for the lead out of the uh, outcomes at the end of uh, quantum circuit. But recently, uh, uh, several quantum computing hardware platform uh, can uh, implement the so-called dynamical quantum circuit, like at IBM's uh, platform, and also, uh, which is uh, you know superconductivity, and also uh, uh, Honeywell, the uh, crime they can do this also. They can they can do the dynamical quantum circuit, uh, but they're using a they're using a different uh, you know the fixer systems which is the uh, ion uh, ion chip. So that what's the dynamical uh, quantum circuit? In a in a dynamical quantum circuit, the measurement can occur at the middle of uh, a quantum circuit. And then at the outcome of, of this uh, measurement are used to, to a conditionally con controlled subsequent step of, uh, of a computation. If uh, like uh, if the uh, out outcome for the measurement is a zero and then uh, we do this, otherwise uh, we do that. So, so it's, it's a kind of, uh, you know, the conditional uh, statement. Let's, uh, let's uh, see an example. So this example actually is a, is a one of the, you know, the most well-known uh, uh, experiment in the quantum uh, information uh, science. So called the quantum teleportation. So quantum teleportation that transmits the quantum information like, uh, like the exact state of a photon, we are only classical information, but also, uh, but, but of course we need uh, to have, uh, to have uh, some help of the entanglement. Otherwise it's impossible to, uh, to, uh, to send the uh, you know, exact state of a, of, of a quantum system uh, only using a, a classical uh, communication. So suppose we have, uh, uh, Alice, uh, who uh, possess uh, two qubits, like uh, uh, like uh, the first one and 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 the the second one, and and we have a uh, Bob uh, who uh, possess this uh, the I mean the the third qubits, but uh, between the second qubits and the uh, and and the third qubit there's an entanglement. Uh, maybe uh, you know uh, uh, Alice is a uh, like in the moon, and 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 the Bob is on the on the Earth. Alice wanted to uh, to send this uh, uh, qubit, uh, the 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 state of qubit per sign to Bob, but only allow her to to do the classical uh, communication. Then uh, what she can do? So this is the second. Uh, used uh, by the Alice and the Bob to uh, accomplish this uh, task. So first we have a C naught, then we have a, a Hadamard gate, and then we have a two a measurement, one by uh, uh, <clears throat> one on on the first qubits, one on the second qubits, and that depends on the outcome of uh, of the this uh, two uh, uh, measurement. Uh, I mean, I mean the, the Alice, uh, we are sending the outcome of this uh, two measurement to Bob and depends on this uh, uh, information. Uh, Bob will be uh, 
uh, choose uh, to perform uh, uh, this uh, polygate X and the polygate uh, theta or not. And uh, finally, uh, uh, what we will we, we get this, uh, you know, the, the quantum uh, state. So, so here you see a measurement uh, appears at the middle of a quantum circuit. So this kind of circuit is a called the dynamical uh, quantum circuit. Finally, we, we can define this uh, uh, sequential or quantum circuit. So a sequential quantum circuit uh, is nothing new. Uh, it's very similar to the to its a classical uh, counterpart. So we have a combinational uh, part, and also we have uh, some, uh, you know, the, the feedback. Or, or here we can say we have uh, some, uh, you know, free perform memories or something like that. The only difference is uh, is here. Now uh, for the quantum case, uh, the combinational part is a uh, Unitary uh, or platos or a super platos, depending on uh, we are talking about a noiseless circuit or noiseless circuit. And also, uh, at the end of uh, this uh, circuit, uh, the first uh, k qubit, uh, on, on the first q, uh, k qubit, we, we will do a, a sentence measurement. And then uh, we get some, uh, you know, the uh, classical information. So, so this is the sequential quantum circuit. Okay, so we know uh, what's the quantum circuit. And then uh, uh, <clears throat> let's uh, introduce uh, a very convenient, you know, the uh, mathematic tools, call it the tensor network for, for, for the representation of a quantum circuit. Actually, a tensor network, uh, not invented by by you know the the, the quantum information uh, community. It was uh, invented a long time ago by by physicist. Actually, it 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 was first introduced by uh, Ponglos, uh, the Nobel laureate. Uh, I, I guess last year. Uh, so, uh, tensor network has have been uh, successfully applied in uh, the classical uh, simulation of uh, quantum physicals for decades. I mean, the, the simulation of uh, quantum uh, physicals on, uh, on a classical uh, computers. In particular, uh, the simulation of uh, the so-called uh, many body quantum systems. Uh, seven years ago, a group uh, uh, at, at the IBM uh, uh, suggested uh, to use this uh, uh, tensor network as a, as a representation of a quantum circuit, rather than uh, just to use uh, you know, the uh, unitary matrices. So, so this uh, you know, the, uh, shift from uh, matrix to, to the tensor network for the representation of quantum circuit that allow them to break the, uh, at that time uh, people believe uh, 49 qubits is, is a battery for the, for the simulation of a quantum circuit on a classical uh, uh, computers. So, so, so using, using this, uh, you know, the new technical, uh, they can break this uh, battery. Then what's a tensor net? What's a tensor network? So uh, be before we define a tensor network, let's uh, first see what's a tensor. A tensor actually is a, is a you know, a multi-dimensional array of, uh, of numbers. But here, you, because we are using them to, to uh, uh, using the tensor uh, for, for quantum computing, so we needed to use this uh, complex numbers. So it's a multi-dimensional array of, uh, of uh, complex numbers. So you can see tensor actually is, is, a, is, a, is a generalization of a matrix. Ma matrix is a, is a two-dimensional array of, of a complex numbers. So formally, a tensor with the indices 
Q1 to Qn is a mapping. We, we write it as a TQ. It's a, it's a mapping from uh, 0, 1 to Q to, to, the, to the set of uh, uh, complex numbers. Perhaps the most important thing about tensor is the, so, is the contraction. So suppose we are giving two tensors, P, uh, TPR and the TQR, they share the indices R, but, but P and Q can be different. And then the, their contraction is defined in this way. If uh, you uh, carefully look at this, that you know definition, you you can you can see so that the contraction actually is a, is a generalization of the you know the matrix uh, multiplication. Right. So where it, where is you, you see that the, the formula is a very similar uh, the, the formula is very similar to the uh, the the matrix uh, multiplication. And then uh, we can uh, organize uh, a lot of uh, tensor into the so-called the tensor network. A tensor network is a, a hype graph. So with the V as the set of node and the E as the set of uh, edges, we will choose uh, a subset of uh, edges as so-called open edges. And also uh, for each uh, node or for each uh, vertex V, uh, we associate with, a, with it a tensor such that uh, the, the indices, uh, uh, <coughs> the, the edges in descent to, uh, to, to V are the, are the indices of, of this uh, tensor. And then, uh, uh, you know, the, the edges are between two uh, vertices represent the indices shared by the two uh, adjacent tens tensors. And then uh, we can contract uh, the connected tensor one by one. And finally, we will get a tensor with E0 as it's an index set. So this tensor, we call it as a, the tensor of this tensor network. So we can contract the tensor network into a single tensor, uh, only a leaf, uh, E0, I mean the open uh, edges as its uh, index. Okay, we, we have this uh, mathematical uh, tools, so then we can uh, represent a quantum uh, states. Or for example, if we have a pure state of n qubit q1 to qn, and then uh, it can be a uh, use this uh, uh, tensor as its uh, representation. So in, in a sense, a vector can be, a, can be a, uh, represented as a, as a tensor. But for pure state, we know uh, uh, it's a mathematical uh, uh, representation. It's, it's, a dense, it's a density matrix. And then we can also uh, uh, use a tensor to to uh to to the percentage. So then it's a it's a it's a tensor uh, with the q1 to qn and the q1 prime to qn prime. And we have we have uh, two n uh, uh, indices. So we have a tensor with the two n uh, indices. Similarly, uh, for 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 a quantum gate, if 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 this uh, quantum gate is a uh, noiseless. And then it's a unitary and matrix. Again, it's a 2 to n uh, times 2 to n. Uh, oh, sorry. I, we, <clears throat> yeah, so 2 to n times a 2 to n matrix. And then uh, it can be uh, uh, represented by this uh, 
cancel. But uh, the 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 uh, Tencent network representation for noisy and uh, quantum gate is a bit more tricky. Uh, uh, if we have uh, uh, noisy quantum gate E on uh, qubit Q1 to Qn, and then uh, uh, we can use its uh, close representation uh, to to introduce the uh, and uh, you know the to define the uh, matrix representation. So we, we like this uh, matrix uh, representation as a uh, ME, which is this, the summation of uh, EI tensor EI star. Here tensor, uh, here EI star uh, stand for the, for the conjugate of, uh, of uh, EI. So I mean, uh, every, uh, Inches of EI is changed uh, to, to its a conjugate because every inch of EI is a complex numbers, and then we can we can take its a conjugate. So so we get this uh, uh, matrix, and then and then uh, we can we can uh, we can use this uh, uh, tensor network as it's a representation of a noisy uh, quantum gate. Okay, so that's that uh, single state or single gate. Then uh, for a quantum circuit, which may contain uh, many, uh, you know, the uh, quantum gates, then uh, we, we only needed to uh, replace, replace each gate in C by its uh, uh, tensor representation, and then uh, we get a tensor network. As we said before, we can we can compute uh, uh, this uh, the, the tensor of this uh, tensor network by uh, contracting uh, the tensors in this uh, network one by one. So suppose uh, we we get this uh, uh, tensor T C, and then uh, if we have uh, input psi or law as the input to this uh, to to this uh, quantum circuit. And then the output uh, C per sign or C law can be computed as a conjunction again. So, so I guess that uh, uh, you will say there's a no difference between the, the tensor network representation of a quantum circuit and the, the matrix representation of a quantum circuit. Because uh, you know the conjunction is simply uh, you know the uh, similar uh, or even the, uh, essentially equivalent to the to the uh, matrix uh, multiplication. But then, what's the benefit? <clears throat> benefit actually, uh, we can uh, we can see the benefit uh, uh, from here. Uh, let, let's uh, let's uh, let's put things in this way. So first, uh, the conjunction of a tensor network of quantum circuit, you see uh, the 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 complexity of of this uh, you know the computation uh, tends to be exponential in the number of qubits and the depth of a circuit. But fortunately, uh, there are already. Uh, you know, the many the optimization the technicals have been uh, proposed in the, in the tensor network based equation. And this uh, uh, optimization uh, technicals exploit the regularity and the locality in the structure of a quantum circuit. Because you know that the gates in this uh, circuit are organized as a tensor network, as a, as a, as a network, so we can uh, uh, explore the the regularity and the locality. But if we don't uh, put them uh, organized as a network, simply uh, we uh, represent as a huge uh, 
metrics, like uh, we have uh, n qubit, and then uh, we simply uh, uh, represent it as, it as a two to n times a two to n uh, matrix. And then uh, you cannot you, uh, you know, they use this regularity and the locality. You cannot divide you know, the quantum circuit uh, into a several you know, smaller quantum circuit. And then uh, we, we, we compute the, uh, we, we, we do the, you know, the, the calculations. So I guess uh, you may already notice there's a similarity between the, this, uh, you know, the optimization stages, strategies for the, for the tensor network and the, the, and, and the BDD based equations. So that's why uh, we, we needed this uh, tensor network. Okay, so, and then uh, there, there, there is uh, quite a lot of, uh, you know, the tools for, for this uh, particular, here I, I, I'd like to mention this uh, Google uh, tensor network. So, so I guess I only have uh, a couple of minutes left. So let, let me a very brief, sorry. 10 minutes. Okay, let me, let me very briefly uh, uh, finish. So, so I spend uh, too much time on the quantum circuit and, and, uh, and it's a tensor network uh, representation. But okay, so, so then we can do that uh, legibility analysis. Uh, now, suppose we, we have a quantum system, a quantum circuit, uh, H, E. H is, a, H is a finite dimensional hyperspace, and the E is a quantum operation of super operators. And then uh, uh, we needed to uh, use uh, you know, the, some uh, notation. We use a span X for the, for the space, span it by a subset, not not, not necessary to be a subsystem, uh, sub, sub, subspace. And then we use a support A uh, to denote the support of an uh, operator A, so which is the, the subspace suspended by the eigenvectors of A with the non-zero uh, eigen uh, uh, values. And then we, we also use this uh, join uh, of uh, Xi, which is the span of a union uh, Xi, because the union of Xi uh, not necessarily to be a, you know, the uh, subspace, even all XI uh, a subspace. And then we also needed this, uh, you know, image of X under a superoperators, which is defined in, in, in this way. So then uh, we can uh, define the so-called adjacency relation uh, between the uh, state, pure state, the psi and the uh, phi and the psi, and, and uh, mix the state, the law and the sigma. We say uh, uh, we can go uh, from psi to, uh, uh, to phi if a phi uh, is uh, in the support of, of this uh, state. So this uh, is an adjacency between the two uh, pure states. Uh, from, from a mixed state to a, to a, to a pure state, and then uh, uh, we, we define it in this way. And also we can uh, define the adjacency from uh, uh, you know, the, uh, an age from a uh, uh, mixer state to another mixer state. And then we can uh, uh, introduce the so-called uh, litchable space. Uh, suppose the law is the initial state. And then uh, uh, we say, we, we define this uh, RE law as the span of, uh, of Psi. Psi uh, is a literable from a uh, law, meaning uh, you can uh, uh, go uh, in a zero or a finite number of uh, steps from law to, uh, to, to Psi. But uh, all of this uh, state put together may not be a subspace. So we needed to put the span here. The, the nice thing is that uh, we can have uh, you know, the quantum generalization of a linear closure. Suppose uh, uh, H is uh, d-dimensional, and then uh, 
this uh, leachable, sp leachable space can be computed in, in this way. So here EI means that we iterate E uh, what, uh, I times, and then we, we take the support. And then uh, we, we, we let, we, we let the, uh, I go from a zero to a D minus one, only uh, to D minus one. So this is very, very similar to the, you know, the uh, clinical closure of uh, binary uh, relation, right? Okay, Use, using this uh, CLM, and then uh, we can uh, compute, uh, we can, we can uh, develop an algorithms uh, for computing at uh, the leachable subspace. Here, I, I just uh, uh, mentioned uh, some, uh, you know, the basic ideas here. So first we define this uh, uh, state, and then uh, uh, we use this uh, state to, to, uh, to con construct a state in the H tensor N. Here, the, the, the big psi is, uh, is a maximally entangled state. And then we use the basic, uh, you know, the lemmas, which says uh, you want to, to compute this one and uh, acting on the, on the maximally entangled state. And then you just needed to do a ordinary matrix multiplication. And then you, this, you, 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 you use this uh, technical uh, many times, repeatedly use it, and then you can compute this one. Then uh, how, how we can compute this one? We can, we can use the, you know, the tensor, tensor we, we, can, uh, we can compute it uh, by uh, contracting uh, the tensor network of, of, of this, uh, uh, second. The finally, uh, we, we do the uh, Smith decomposition, and then uh, the, the literal space is just uh, the span of, uh, of the state kept, uh, kept I in this uh, uh, Smith decomposition. So, okay, so, right. So this is the uh, legibility analysis, and also where we can uh, do the more complicated, uh, you know, the property to, to, I mean, to do the model checking of a more complicated uh, prop, uh, property uh, written in the temporal uh, quantum logic, which is, uh, you know, the uh, temporal uh, extensions of uh, from Newman uh, quantum logic. So I guess, uh, I would skip all of this uh, uh, slides. And uh, only a very brief uh, the, the conclusion. So, so in this uh, talk, we describe a, a framework for the accession-based verification of a quantum circuit by a model checking uh, with, a, with the help of uh, tensor network. But, but in this uh, talk, we only uh, consider, you know, the uh, qualitative uh, uh, properties. We don't uh, consider, you know, the uh, quantitative uh, accession, meaning uh, uh, accession with the sentence probabilities. Uh, but also, uh, you know, uh, the algorithm, uh, uh, the model checking algorithm uh, in, in this talk is a classical algorithm. I mean, uh, we do the model checking of a quantum circuit on a classical computer, not on quantum computer. This will be a, definitely will be in efficiency. So we are also was, uh, developing some quantum equations for model checking quantum systems. Okay, so this is my talk. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks a lot for me, sir. So less an interesting talk. So now you can, um, we, we, we still have some time for some short questions. Hi, I have one question. So you see in the rich bin analysis, you see the based on tensor network, uh, it depends no. on the how many steps you have. Uh, actually, you see the, I guess the D stands for the, the number of steps. So in the classical rich bin analysis, possibly the steps could be infinite. For that case means that dimensionality could be infinite, right? So for that case- Oh yes, yeah, so this is- a Right, right. This is a very good question, actually. Uh, 
uh, you know, in 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 this uh, uh, in our work, in, in at this moment we can only deal with the finite dimensional Hilbert space. If uh, uh, we do uh, this uh, disability analysis uh, for the infinite dimensional Hilbert space, then uh, the same problem will will come out. So, so up to now, uh, we only uh, can deal with uh, the finite dimension here with the spice. Okay. I hope I uh, answer your question, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah so. right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, any you, other questions? You. Very good. Let me see. If you have any questions, just uh, raise your hand. I can, I can, I can see. Yeah. Uh, if no, let's thank Minsen again. Uh, maybe you can, uh, Minsen, you can join us uh, uh, at the Wand Me for coffee break. I think maybe you can have more questions. Okay, good, good. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>